So I'm on day three with the LG Prime 2. And uh, it's not too bad of a inexpensive phone. Uh, so what was worrying me was the battery life. It's a 3,000 milliamp battery. And it actually lasts me all day. So that I was very happy about. Because I had the LG X Venture uh, before this. And that was a 4,400 milliamp battery. So I was going to a smaller battery. So I was kind of scared. But it, uh, it does do pretty good. Uh, I mean I was at work yesterday. But it was at like 60%. And I was using it and stuff like that. But I do want to go over the back. So... It's plastic, so your fingerprints are seen, and it, it will scratch easily. Uh, it's got the double tap feature, I like that. It runs Android 9. The camera is a 13 megapixel. Right here is the fingerprint scanner. I did see on the camera under the settings, it does have a QR... Uh, reader Show you that you have a couple options on the camera actually it's kind of hard to see but let's see let's see this. Oh. see QR code if you go on the camera See, it, for some reason, it, it gives you a full option, and then this one. But if you click on it, it can bring you up to the thir 13 megapixel. See right there. I don't know why it automatically sets to this one. Not really sure why. I haven't really played around with it long enough to say so, but. I have made a few calls on it. The call quality, quality is pretty good. Uh, the bottom speaker's right down here. It's not on the back. It's just right on the bottom. Another feature I found out was right here on the bottom. It's a little button. Double tap it twice. It'll get rid of the bottom part. So I think that's pretty cool. Give you like a bigger screen. I did notice if you watch YouTube, it cuts out a little bit here and here but if you just swipe it it'll do a full screen when I got this phone it came with a lot of installed apps I was able to delete them thank God because it took a lot of memory so deleting them actually freed up my memory uh, so right here it's a this button right here goes right to Google and then your volume buttons your power button, speaker, charger, headset. It's like a 5.4, 5.45, it said something like that on there. Uh, it's 16 gigabytes internal with external uh, SD right here. If you're looking for a cheap phone, this is not a bad phone. The only thing I wish it had was a notification light. It does not have a notification light. It's the only thing that I wish it does have. But all in all, it's not too bad of a phone. Thanks for watching.